It's a good thing I didn't put that in the fridge. I should be asleep like four hours ago. <clears throat> this is my nighttime voice. We're going to be covering the home base report, which I <laughs> inexplicably stayed up for, seeing as it's nearly 5 a.m. So I hope you guys appreciate the update. Those are birthday llamas. You see it right there. We'll get into it. Uh, I don't want to start off on a negative note, but I do feel a little short changed because Archer and I, we had like a 30, no, 20, 20 odd person group call going. And uh, a lot of heroes were definitely tweaked. And we do know that those are happening behind the scenes. I just expected to be reporting some of the changes here today. Uh, I still have Code Mista up for the uh, the daily video. I'm going to remove that for now. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I I just expected that. And I that is not what we, we have here. So um, that aside, <laughs> birthday llamas are absolutely here. So let's, well, they're, they're coming. So let's, let's read, let's read, let's read. Uh, welcome back to another report celebrating Save the World's fourth birthday party. Uh, celebrate on July 24th. That is not today. It is the 20th as I'm recording this. So this is very important. July 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So for you Europeans, it's July 25th at 2 a.m. I think that's, yeah, six hours. Um, so that's very important. That is finally the date that I have been getting hounded for weeks. Uh, mid to late July is what I told people. So there you go, the 24th. And, uh, what else did I read here? So yeah, take part in the birthday festivities and earn birthday llamas. These festivities contain heroes and schematics from all previous Save the World seasons, which is pretty crazy. And then you can complete a pretty short Sploding Husks quest line to earn two free birthday llamas. Now, don't yell yet. I can already imagine some of you scrolling down. Uh, it was mentioned that there will be a quest line to earn more of them. So there's also a leak or whatever. We found it in the files. There are birthday llama tokens. So there will be something that we can do to earn more of these tokens that will allow us to unlock more birthday llamas. It seems like they're just giving two of them as freebies, which is two thumbs up. Uh, but the way that it was worded here leads me, obviously, I know better, but if you were reading this blind, it would lead you to believe that we're only getting two birthday llamas. So uh, I'll keep you guys informed. Subscribe for more. I will cover this as soon as we get more info. But... Um, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I am trying to be optimistic here because, you know, the quest line should be cool. Not to mention they're using my favorite color, or at least it should be somewhere in here. 7-1-E-E-B-8, -E in case you're curious. And then Beyond the Stellar Horizons is here. So, I'm going to manage expectations again. This is something I have learned to do a lot as a Fortnite Save the World creator. Uh, Beyond the Stellar Horizon quest line is bringing Azelia Clark. Not sci-fi weapons, not sci-fi heroes. Bringing Azelia Clark, uh, who is the new mythic outlander. And she buffs your ability energy damage by 15.5%. So, yeah. Uh, that is definitely one of the heroes that might get tweaked in the future. Again, thought I'd be talking about that here. And then we do have Fossil Southie, which is another hero I've been hounded for. Paleo Luna is definitely the next thing out of everybody's mouth. She is not in this home base report. Don't know. I completely, I have like 99% faith that she'll be coming back. I have no reason why she shouldn't. I just can't literally confirm it because it's not in here. But Paleo Luna should be uh, within the within the next week. So, you know, definitely a hero we all want to see. But Fossil Southie is equally amazing. Seriously, energy regeneration is super good in the current venture season. And uh, definitely glad to be seeing him back. Unfortunately, based on what I'm reading here, we're going to be getting him through a quest in Event Hit the Road, which means that he might be just like the Dino Ken guy, I always forget his name, uh, where he's available for one week, which is definitely going to be a thing in my daily videos. Subscribe, hey? I cover those every single day, and will be trying my best to remind everybody to grab him while he's available. You do not want to miss him. Also, <coughs> I, um... Cannot pronounce that word. I don't even know what that is. And then Crack Shot hits the road. He's guiding the, the car for a song. I didn't read most of this. I'm sorry. I'm not that interested in Hit the Road. I I just am not. I'm sorry. He's given the Desa Blaster. I do have a video on that. I'll link it down below if you guys want to see some gameplay. Uh, it's a very interesting weapon. But there's a reason you don't see us using it often. You can tell my disappointment. You know, I, I am happy to see the update. I stayed up so late. I have a busy day tomorrow. I did not need to do this. 
But here I am for you guys. And Dennis Jr., which is a legitimately exciting thing. I like how we're mixing the good with the bad here. Because Dennis Jr. is the boy who unlocks Totally Rockin' Out, which is a uh, pretty popular team perk. I don't know. Some people mention it sometimes. I know on my channel, Blast from the Past is heavily represented. Uh, but I am aware of this perk. I know that it's the highest DPS. I know that you can be an absolute glass cannon with the Totally Rockin' Out team perk. We've been getting... All, in fact, you know, I probably still have Fortnite open. Let's uh, remove the full screen. We've been ha we've been getting all of the event people. We are going to the rad heroes. All of the rad heroes from the llamas, the hit the road llamas, and nobody in this set here unlocks totally rocking out. So now that Dennis Jr. is coming around, maybe you guys can actually, you know, use the team perk again iffy decision on that front because this is like a boombox. We we've had the llamas here. Let me just show them. I, I keep trying to switch we, we've been having the brad llamas since we started here a month ago and only now can we actually use the team perk i mean i get that these are repeats i've already got two dennis juniors but like for the newbies out there i'm just saying epic what is this ordering also archaeologist her event ended a month ago but she's coming to the event store and she doesn't even get like an Im oh she's down here yeah 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 archaeologist is something i've been asked about a lot hey where is she and i'm like I don't know, dude. She's in the blockbuster section of the collection book. It's the blockbuster event. I don't know what to tell you, but it looks like they're giving her at least a little bit of justice by putting her in the event store, which means she'll be sticking around until September 4th. So coming on July 31st, we will have over a month to grab archaeologists. And uh, there you go. She is extremely good as well. Uh, very, very well paired with Fossil Southie. Makes for a fantastic farming loadout. Wow. I should make a video on that link below. Link below. You can check it out. And then Parasaur Jess, I'm not forgetting her. I actually use her um, in one specific loadout in my Dungeon Speedrun video. I'll link it down below. Dungeons isn't out right now, but I'll link it. Uh, that is where she has been most useful for me, where I put her in my Phase Shift loadout. Because Phase Shift is an ability, and I'm constantly taking damage in Dungeons when I'm getting hit by enemies. So I can just instantly heal my health by 7.2%. Pretty good combo. Uh, especially in Ventures right now, where a lot of you guys might be spamming Teddy or Fragment stuff. Uh, things that give you a lot of energy. Um, Parasaur Jess is kind of a nice combo. She's a really annoyingly balanced hero. I can't pretend like she's the best in the game. But you definitely don't want to forget she exists because she might just be what your build is missing. Like if you have an ability based loadout but you don't like coconuts and you know survivalist is trash, maybe Parasaur Jess is the uh, missing piece of that puzzle. She really could be. That's what I found out with my face shift build because that's super spammy so I get a lot of health. Anytime I'm about to die in, in dungeons, I just sh face shift a lot. It's really cool. I like it. And then Lockbot is something that I don't want to talk about anymore. <laughs> I try to give you guys a lowdown on everything, but when it comes to Lockbot, I don't want to look at him. I have a video on it. Check this out. You can go to my YouTube channel here. I post like a lot of stuff sometimes, and there you go. I made a whole overview on Lockbot, and based on the view count, I can, cur I can assume that many of you care about as little about him as I do, so I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Birthday Llamas are confirmed. We knew this a long time ago. Uh, we're going to get free two ones, which is cool, and then I am filling in the blanks here. They have, they aren't saying here that there's going to be a quest line for more but i'm certain they will be if all of this hype has amounted to two birthday llamas uh i'm gonna have some words for that so yeah i'll see you guys later i was kind of fearing this update thinking i'd be going to bed knowing that i have a whole lot of homework to do covering all the new hero changes but uh um uh, well, I'll, ke I'll keep you guys tuned. Uh, no outro to today's video. This is just a one take. I hope you guys enjoyed this little hangout session. I will let you know the more, the second we know more, and I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys later.